Hi, we're Nick and Valerie Wisniewski on behalf of expertvillage.com. We'd like to talk about gray squirrel tracks, and if you want more information, you can visit our website, walnuthilltracking.com. The gray squirrel is a fairly ubiquitous prey animal in uh, the Northeast, and um, it's a member of the squirrel family, and it's uh, the rodent otter. And like most other rodents, on the front feet, there are only four toes, and on the hind feet, there are five toes. The pattern that you see on the ground is the result of what scientists and people that study locomotion tell us is a full bound. The cottontail rabbit and snowshoe hare, for example, do what's called a half bound. And we'll show you more about this in a moment. On the ground, what we've done is we've laid down uh, some examples of gray squirrel track patterns. And when the gray squirrel is bounding, what happens is what you have left on the ground, the feet that are in front are actually the, the hind feet. So the front feet will briefly touch the ground and then the hind feet will touch the ground and the hind feet will actually propel, propel the animal through the air. The set of tracks in the middle here shows what is more uh, like a rabbit bound where in the two front feet, one of the feet travels a little bit further than the other. Sometimes squirrels will do this, whereas sometimes rabbits will do what is more like a classic squirrel bound. Um, keep in mind that uh, the stride or the distance that the gray squirrel travels is extremely variable. The only other real animal you could mistake it for um, in a mixed habitat might be the red squirrel. And the red squirrel moves in a very similar way, but with the red squirrel, the trail width is much more narrow. Whereas the gray squirrel that we have here, the trail width is gonna be somewhere between four and six inches across from here to here. In the red squirrel, it's gonna be more like three to four.